All right, guys, so we are talking about what is going on in Nigeria. What is trending? What is happening in Nigeria? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, uh, they are now coming out one after the other. True confession. I mean, I don't know if it is God that, um, you know, that is pushing them. Go and confess your sin. That is, by the way, you have seen that already on your screen. Minister of Education Adamu admits he fails. All right, guys, let me uh, give the details of uh, what he says. Then, um, personally, I will uh, give you my own um, personal opinion. So, um, Nigerians uh, Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, admitted he failed in his official duties as he could not deal with several challenges that drastically affected the educational system in the last few years. So, Adamu, while speaking to the Thursday at the NCE, National Council of Education NC in Abuja reflected on the challenges he faced as education minister, having occupied the office longer than any other person. So the minister highlighted that from out of school children, which has increased during his time in office, to challenges of ASU and other challenges, he could not provide viable solutions. Now, guess what? Adamu, however, accused the state ministries of education of adding to the factor that as in that add to the factor that added his failure as a minister so now this is what happened they are now coming up with uh what should i say maybe a blame game or whatsoever all right so that is the same thing when the administration came everything that happened they blame it on the past administration but now they don't have a say they cannot blame good luck, Jonathan. But these were the people that promised Nigerians heaven and earth. These are the same people that, I don't know, that brainwashed Nigerians in sending good luck, Jonathan, away. Because now everybody has statistics. During good luck, Jonathan, I think fuel was, um, is it 85 Naira? But now fuel is about 200 Naira plus. During good luck, Jonathan, they have statistics. They have seen the statistics. The statistics is there in public domain. They have seen it themselves. So they don't have any other say that it was good luck, Jonathan administration. Because these guys, let me tell you the truth. This man here, tactically, is telling Nigerians that the current administration is a failure. Yes, indirectly telling, but now he's still bringing in a blame game that it is because of... Um, state ministries of education that aided his failure this is the same man let me tell you this this is the same man that walked away from the student association university student association when they visited him concerning asu strike this man stood up walk away from them but this is the same man his son graduated from uk university i mean you know you are a failure as in i don't understand so technically, this man knows that history will remember him. When you leave office, what will you be remembered for? He knows that he will be remembered as the worst education minister. That is why the man is admitting that, yes, I am a failure. Let me admit I am a failure. And he's technically telling Nigerians that the current administration is a failure. That is the truth. That is the truth. All of them, they will admit one after the other that they are failures from power sector, um, which other ministry, as in tactically, this man is telling Nigerians that the administration is a failure. So what are we doing? You allow the same administration to continue. I don't understand. You continue from where you stop. If Nigerians make another mistake to continue for another eight years i don't know what to say like seriously i quickly want to update you on this so this is why nigerians need peter b this is why nigerians need somebody to you know change the country now imagine people the way people were hoarding cash people are rushing to buy dollar because of this um uh, read, uh, redesigning of dollars. 
money that was printed 20 years ago, 200 Naira note that was printed 20 years ago, people are finding it in the bank 20 years ago. So people were stockpiling money because they know that Peter B will not allow such to happen. That is why they don't want Peter B to come in. Yes. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, education minister is um, tactically or technically telling Nigerians that the administration is a failure already. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.